create this effect, you want to create yourself a new project. And then in here, we're going to set it to 1920 by 1080. You can either have it on 30 or 60 FPS. And then you want to change the duration to how long your song is. And then finally, for the background, you want to leave it on a plain black color. And then go ahead and press OK. Once you've done that, you want to get your two files. So the background and the music, and then drag them both into the timeline. Now that you've done that, you want to left click in the empty area want to left click on your image and you want to press S for scale, change this to 68% and then you want to left click onto it again and then press P for position. You want to left click on the last one and change this one to 731. Minimize this. You want to right click on your audio layer and then you want to go to keyframe assistant and then convert to audio keyframes. Once you've done that, drag this one underneath your background and then you want to go ahead and open up your audio, open it up once again, and then set this one to minus seven. Now that you've done that, we're going to open up the audio amplitude, open up the effects, and then you want to left click on the left channel and then hold shift and then left click on the right channel and then delete these two. You want to open up the both channels. Now that you've done that, we're going to go ahead and create ourselves the glowing eyes effect. And to do that, we want to go ahead and left click so you're not selecting any of these. This is so when we go to the pen tool, we can now create ourselves a shape. We're gonna zoom in. So set this one to 400%, make sure it's on a full resolution. You want to hold space bar and then move yourself up to the eyes. Now that you've done that, you want to go ahead and left click and then left click and then drag it out and create yourself a shape. You can drag the points and just make sure it is on the eye. So right about there, like so. So I'm gonna need to move mine just a little bit more round, like so. We're gonna move on to the other eye and then do the same. Now that you've done that, we're gonna set this one to 100%, hold space bar, move this to the center, and then you want to left click on your first shape and then go to your effects and presets. If you don't have this open, you can always go to window and then open up your effects and presets, which are right there and you want to get yourself a glow. With that glow, you want to drag this into your first shape, and then you want to change the threshold to 69, change the radius to 24, and then you want to right click on your glow, duplicate, and your second one, you want to set the radius to 63, and then the intensity to 20. Keep this on on top. You want to change the first color to 00A2, FF, press OK. The second color, you want to set this one to 00BAFF, and then go ahead and press OK. And then finally, you want to get yourself a Gaussian and then Gaussian blur, but make sure it says legacy at the end. And then drag this into here, and then set this one to 1.7. Now that you've done that, you can minimize this, and then also minimize these two. You want to click on the top one, hold shift, and then click on the bottom one, press control C, and then you want to go to your second shape, left click in the empty area right here, and then press control V to paste it. Next up, what we're going to be creating is the outer glow on the eyes. So to do so, you want to left click off of your selected layer, right click in the empty area, go to new, solid. In here, we're going to set the color to A0DAFF. Press OK, press OK again, and then move this one underneath. You want to go ahead and press T for the opacity and then set this one to 48. Now that you've done that, we're going to make sure we select this one right here and go back to the pen tool. Now that you've done that, you want to create yourself a mask and just go around the eye like so. This is going to make him look like Deadpool. Same for the other eye. You can always edit the points if you wanted to. Once you've opened up your mask, you want to set the feather to 65 and then open up your second mask and then set this one to 65 as well. And then set the mode to hard light, which is right here. Once you've got yourself the glowing eyes, you want to left click on this one, hold shift, click on the top one, and then you want to right click and then you want to pre-comp this and call this God eyes. Press okay. And now that you've done that, you want to press T, you want to hold Alt, and then left click on the stopwatch, 
type in zero plus, and then you want to drag yourself the pick whip to the slider. And then you want to type in times 2.5 at the end of it. You want to left click in the empty area, get yourself a new solid. And then in this one, you want to set this one to a plain black color. Go ahead and press OK. Now that you've done that, we're going to go to the shape tool right here and you want to left click and hold it in to open it up. And then you want to get yourself the one that says eclipse tool. Now that you've done that, you're going to left click and then drag this outwards to get yourself a oval shape like so. We're going to open up the mask one. You want to set the mode to subtract, set the feather to 317, and then you want to set the mode to soft light. You want to go ahead and minimize this and then you want to press T, get yourself the opacity and then you want to hold Alt, left click on the stopwatch, type in zero plus, drag the pick whip down to the slider and then you can left click off of it. We're going to rename this. Next up, you want to do the same. So you want to right click on the empty area, get yourself a new solid and then this one is going to be called body glow. Get yourself a black color, same as last time, press OK. And then with this one, we're going to zoom out a little bit more. So put it to 25. You want to press T for the opacity and then set this one to 50%. So we could just see the image. Now that you've done that, we're going to go back to the pen tool. Make sure you are selecting the solid and then create yourself a mask around this one. So just go around the body, give it a bit of a gap in between. And then go back to the first one and connect it all up. Now that you've done that, we're going to open up the mask. Set this one to subtract once again and then put the opacity back to 100%. You want to open up the mask and then set the feather to 270. Now that you've done that, we're going to minimize this. You want to left click on it and then press T again. Once again, the opacity, you want to hold Alt. Click on the stopwatch. Type in 0 plus. Drag the pick whip down here and then... Just leave it as normal, left click off of it. And then finally, the last one, you want to get yourself a, another solid, but this one you want to change it to 0042FF and then press OK and then press OK again. You want to move this one underneath the body glow and then you want to set this one to darker color. You want to go ahead and press T, hold Alt, click on the stopwatch, same as always, zero plus, and then drag the pick whip to the slider. For this one, you want to put in times 0 0.4 at the end of it and then left click off of it. You can now minimize this and we're going to rename this one to Storm Blue. We can minimize the audio amplitude and then you want to left click onto it, hold shift and then select all of the layers from one to six. You can then go ahead and right click on here, pre-composition. We're going to call this eyes, lights, and color. Go ahead and press OK. Get yourself a final solid color. And this one is going to be a, another plain black color. This one is going to be the fade in and fade out. So if you press T and then you get yourself the opacity. So if you click on the stopwatch, go a little bit further on into the timeline and then set this one to zero. Go ahead and go further down the timeline. And then you want to click on this button right here. Go all the way to the end and then set this to 100% again. We can minimize this. And finally, we are now ready to apply the very last effects. So if we click back onto this one, you can go ahead and get yourself a wiggle. And then you want to get yourself the wiggle position. With this one, you don't really need to focus on the second one. So you can minimize that one. And we're going to focus on the speed. For the speed, we're going to set this one to 0 0.5. And then the amount to 30. We can minimize this. And then you also want to get yourself a wiggle rotation. We're going to set this one to 0 0.4 and then the amount to 2. Minimize this one and that one. We're also going to get ourselves a magnify and you want to get yourself the distort one. Drag this into your main layer. Set the magnification to 100. Change the size to 1045. Once again, we're going to left click on the audio layer. You want to right click on it. And we'll need to get ourselves the amplitude again. Move this one above, open this up, go into the effects, same as last time, hold shift, delete the left and right channel, and then open up the both channels. 
we're going to hold alt and then left click onto the stopwatch type in zero plus and then once again drag the pick whip down to the slider and then at the end of it type in times 0.3 with the magnification this one you actually want to make sure that the first one is on 100 and not zero so just make sure that it is 100 plus and then the pick whip and then times 0.3 we can minimize this. You want to also get yourself a radial and then you want to get yourself the radial fast blur. Put this one underneath. You want to hold alt and then left click on the amount stopwatch, zero plus, drag the pick whip down to the slider. And then for this one, we're gonna type in times two. Now, another thing for the radial fast blur, you want to make sure that this one is set to 904 and then this one, to 951. And then finally, for the very last one, we can minimize this and get ourselves a brightness and contrast. Get yourself the brightness and contrast and then drag this one underneath. Once again, hold Alt, left click on the stopwatch for the brightness and then type in zero plus, and then drag this down to the slider. And then at the end of it, you want to type in times 0 0.3 and then left click off of it. We can now minimize this. You can get rid of this one, minimize that one, minimize this one. And then finally, you just want to go back to this one, press S for scale, and then set this one to 107. And you are pretty much done. A lot of explaining. I've had to do this quite a few times just to get everything right. But once you've done everything, it will look like this.